take your heart medication before you listen to Opeth, or you might just have some kind of cardiac episode. Hello there, Opethians. It's Lauren here. Hey, guys. Hi. Welcome back for more Opeth. I have to start by saying this was an extremely close poll. This is the album cover with the little face in the mirror and or the window. I don't know what that is, but it looks like Jay Weinberg. I never know what to expect from Opeth other than epicness. That's just a given. So I'm assuming we will get some epicness. I hope you took eight seconds to watch my video about me explaining my videos in eight seconds. That just perfectly encapsulates what I do here. I like to learn about the band. I want to know about the albums. I want to know about the band members. I just want to know things. I want to talk about the lyrics. I want to talk about things that I heard in the song. Is this album called Deliverance? Oh, they had more than one black and white cover. I got confused. Okay, I thought this was the other one. I just love that there's only six tracks on here because they're all so long. There's only room for six tracks. That's all that would fit on the record, like the actual LP record. I'm predicting a visit from the demon. I'm ready. All right, here we go. Don't be fooled by a calm intro. That's what I've learned. Wasn't expecting that. Who is that? I know that's him. I'm on a mission here. I'm just gonna have to write this down because I can never remember anything. All right, just give me a moment. 2011 is when Keyboard Guy made his presence known. Hi. Now that we got that straight, I don't remember him ever sounding this way. I was expecting Demon. I thought I was just going to go from piano to straight up Demon, and it was, that, that threw me. They can shock me even when they don't shock me. You know what I mean? Like, I'm shocked that I wasn't shocked by the Demon. I will be fully transparent. I just spent the whole entire intro figuring out if that was my keyboard guy or not. So because of that, I'm going to start this over and actually pay attention. Is it important? Not really. But I just like to know these things. So I'll be right back. drummer is like, hey, look what I could do. I'm listening. This drummer, again, does it matter? No, it doesn't really matter. 
but I'm gonna look anyways. I saw a rather unfortunate comment about Opeth in the last song, I guess it was. Martin with the long blonde hair, has left the band, which makes me sad because I liked him and his camo pants. Who is the drummer now? Whoever it is, his name has to be Martin, or he can't be in the band. That's the first thing. You might not even be that good at drums, but if your name is Martin, you're already way ahead of the competition. The drummer extraordinaire that we are hearing right now is Martin Lopez. When all the uh, sound came in, <laughs> that's just, oh, I, I don't have words for that. That's just magical. So I'm probably gonna have to back that up. This this is gonna be a long video, I can just tell. Dear God, okay. Before we're hit with some acoustic awesomeness, I have to ask you a question. Have there been any Opeth song where I have not liked it at all? Even the songs that have a lot of demon, the music behind it was always top notch, A plus loved. And I'm wondering if there are any songs that I was just not into aside from the vocal. And I don't think, they just knock it out every time. They are too good. It's annoying. Having said that though, the thing where I did this, whatever sound that is, I'm not a fan of that sound. We are never going to finish the song. It's never gonna happen. All right, I'm ready for the acousticness. That was very loud. I'm back. It was meant for me. What is this now? Soul sacrifice. Forgot the advice. Martin Saint. Base base guy Martin. Lost track of time. In the flurry of smoke. 
Oh my god. We have to go back. We're going back. We're going back. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Alright, guitar solo. Just a second. Okay. Three main things. Number one, they added a static over this guitar. It sounded like a record. That is super cool. Number two, the layered vocals sounded like we had a freaking choir in here. Number three, <laughs> this, the beat. So we have to go back and hear that because that's just, that's just, I don't have the words for that, obviously. I never do. Why would this video be any different? We will get through this song. It might take us all day, but we will finish it. Leave it be. It was meant for me. Martin. Soul sacrifice. Forgot the advice. It's, it's there a little bit. Lost track of time. Not a template, but it's like on the offbeat. Love, love, love. Just a, I need a minute kind of pause. I don't really have anything to say other than are you hearing the epicness? And also, why have I not heard this song till now? Did this lose a poll? Because that's not possible. Was this on a poll before? I'm gonna have to check because that's just a mistake. Unless it was up against... Well, I don't even know. Let's not do that. Is the demon coming? I don't know. If this had a demon, I would predict that he would have been here by now because he is late to the show he could still show up but i don't know usually if there's a demon he's just a little earlier in the song right they just sound so amazing every time got it well
<laughs> Take your heart medication before you listen to Opeth, or you might just have some kind of cardiac episode. <sighs> oh my god. You all right? I tell you what, it's like this band takes all of the awesomeness that other bands spread out over an entire album and they put all of it into one song and we're not even done yet. Everything sounds so clear and clean. Like with that vocal right there, he might as well just been here, like here he is singing to me. It just sounds so clear. And I really liked how that was sung. I haven't really been looking at lyrics at all. These are interesting lyrics. I love the first verse. I kind of forgot all about the lyrics, so I'm just checking them out now. But yeah, I love that vocal section we just heard. I mean, he was just right here. He was in the room. I'm afraid to put this back on because I don't know if I can handle how awesome it is. These guys are just in another league. I know I used this analogy before, but I think it's a pretty good one. Not to pat myself on the back or anything, but I just, I just think it's a good comparison that Opeth is masterclass. All other bands are Skillshare. <sighs> I brace myself for impact. <laughs> what I need most. Oh my. Nothing left here. Sounds like Steve music. <laughs> I'm sorry. I just love the sound of that so much. I don't have the words. You know, some reactors really move. You know, they really move. I've seen clips. I mean, they're just bouncing out of their chair, their head banging until their neck snap. They just really get into it. I just sit here with a big grin, but I feel the same. I mean, on the inside, I'm just like, I'm just like, point is, I have to hear that again. 36 minutes into this video, and we're at 8.50 into the song. Yeah, I'm going to go back to where we were. It's just like, it's so heavy. It just sounds amazing. I don't know. Yeah, I went back here again.
I am very disappointed that that was a fade out. I'm actually annoyed. I'm irritated because otherwise this song would be 10. It would be 10, 11, 12. But a fade out, I just, mm, what are you doing, guys? What's with the fade out? Let me know your thoughts on a fade out. It's one of those things that I just have a very strong opinion about. I just do not like the fade out. I don't like it. This song needs like a big, powerful ending thing to just knock you flat out. And I, I just don't know why they did a fade out as opposed to that. In general, not a fan of the fade out. Just end it. End the song. What are you doing? Just end it. Stick a note on there. Boom. Done. I'm very surprised there was no demon. I'm very glad. But at the same time, I was really expecting in that end section because that just had demon all over it. It was just like, demon is coming. This is the theme music. He's about to come out of the, of the shadows, the smoke, the haze. There he is. Just to like tell you something because he's always telling a story. But he never showed up. So on the one hand, I'm glad. But on the other hand, I'm like, where was the demon? But I'm, I need to listen to this song again and I'll be right back. <laughs> what is this song? This is something. You know, a song like this, I think, really highlights everyone. The beginning keyboard solo, then there was a part where it was just bass and vocal ma mainly. The drums just, you know, all over the place. The vocal obviously and then the guitar solo it was just sort of like everybody gets to shine on this song so that's that's a cool thing the last two minutes or so feel like another song and they thought well we can either turn this into a song or we can stick this on this other song and just make it that much more epic because this song did that and the same with deliverance like that ending section of deliverance that goes on forever and it's awesome opeth is killing it they will continue to kill it I will continue to listen to them kill it. If you were hoping for the 20 minute song, the Rose song, after seeing how long this video is, you might, you might uh, rethink that. Thanks so much for voting in this poll. Thanks for watching. Enjoy the rest of your day and I'll see you for the next one. And what's sticking out to me the most, drums. I don't know why. I mean, they're awesome obviously, but I don't remember fixating on drums. That's not true, I have done that. <laughs> This song I think needs like a big powerful ending knock your face off. This song just needs a big powerful melt your face right off. <laughs> I'm gonna have some good bloopers for this video. Oh my god. <sighs> I've tried to say this three times now. This song needs this song needs... <laughs> I just forget it. Just never mind, I can't even say it. You alright?